Hey guys, so today I'm here with a comparison between Music Beta by Google and Amazon Cloud Player. Now these are two of the newest and best ways to store your music online so that you can listen to it on your computer or on a wide variety of mobile devices. So what I'd like to do for you guys today is give you some of the pros and cons of each, kind of tell you, you know, why you might want to use one over the other and all that kind of good stuff. So the first one I'm going to take a look at is Music Beta by Google, which I'm just going to be calling Google Music because that is way easier to remember. Uh, so Google Music works very similarly to Cloud Player, and again, if you're not familiar with how it works, it's very simple. You download a program to your computer, uh, it picks out you know your songs from your iTunes or your uh, Windows Media Player or wherever you keep your songs, and allows you to upload it to the cloud and then listen to it from a wide variety of devices. Now there are a couple of key differences though, and I want to go ahead and show you guys this. Uh, one of the number one ones that are between them is the fact that Google Music Beta, Google Music, whatever, I'm, I know I'm going to screw up that name a bunch, but Google Music allows you to upload up to 20,000 songs. Now that's really quite impressive. Uh, Amazon Cloud Player, on the other hand, is a is max of 20 gigabytes as far as the free if you buy an MP3 album. And it's only 5 gigabytes if you don't buy anything and you just get the t uh, totally standard free version. So uh, I definitely have to give the edge to Google Music here. Um, but of course, that's not everything. Now, another really cool thing I like about Google Music is the fact that the interface is really quite nice. So you have quite a few things. You can go through your songs, artists, albums. So let's say we want to take a look at some Blue Oyster Cult. Click on it, we can take a look at our songs. Uh, you know, it's very simple. If we want to play, we just double click. As you can see here on the bottom here, we have our previous song, next song. We can scroll, scrub around through the song. We can thumbs up it. So if you'd like to do it through your ratings, you can do thumbs up and down and take a look at your automatic playlist, which have the uh, thumbs up and down songs. Um, you can also, you know, shuffle song, repeat, volume, all the kinds of standard stuff. Now, one thing I really like about Google Music, however, is the fact that it comes with a lot of free songs. Uh, so while Amazon Cloud Player is just strictly for, you know, uploading your own stuff, uh, Google does give you a fairly decent selection of free music when you first download it. Uh, so the first thing you'll see is when you it, when you uh, first get Google Music is that it's going to pull up a little prompt saying, what kind of music do you like? Do you like you know, maybe techno or rock or metal or whatever. There's quite a few different uh, genres and varieties. And then you pick whatever you want or you can pick them all. And then we'll actually have automatically downloaded quite a few free songs. So um, as you guys can see here, this is just a small selection. You see there's some Blue Oyster Cult, System of a Down, uh, Incubus, Five for Fighting, Elvis Presley, uh, Santana. I mean, there's a lot here. And it's really pretty cool because this is all just totally free. Now, I will say that most of this right here is live music, so uh, it's not going to be quite the exact same songs as you were, uh, would expect, you know, the standard studio versions or whatever, but still, it's free, and of course, it is the legit music. It's not like, you know, covers or anything like that, so it's definitely really nice. Now, let's take a look at Amazon Cloud Player. Now, before we begin, I do want to say one thing. I've actually been using Amazon Cloud Player almost exclusively for my music for the past month or so, so I've been using, uh, you know, iTunes or anything like that just to kind of test and see how it works on the cloud. I've got to say I'm really quite impressed. I use multiple computers on a daily basis and it's really nice to have all my data and all my music online on the cloud. So uh, that's less to do with Amazon, just uh, the general th kind of thing. If you guys are kind of on the fence about switching to either of these services, uh, you really ought to give them a shot. But uh, getting away from that, let's talk a little bit about what is specific to Amazon Cloud Player. Uh, so as you can see, the interface is fairly similar. Uh, it's a little bit more basic, a little bit more plain, uh, but you know, to be honest, it's not that huge of a deal. Um, so along the bottom, you'll find your playlist. So if you're listening to a song, of course, you can hit play, you can do your volume, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, now, of course, you have your songs menu here, so you can scroll through all your songs. Um, you can take a look at the artist, the time, all that kind of stuff. But one nice thing about Cloud Player is, let's say, uh, Kelly's Last Stand. Well, if I want to click on this, I can add it to a playlist, I can delete it, but most importantly, I can download it. Now, that's very nice. Of course, since it's your music, it's not like it's have to be locked up or anything. You can just download it and do whatever you like with it very simply. So that's really quite nice. Uh, now, there are a couple of other things. You can take a look at albums, artists genres and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've noticed that the scrolling and the performance, well maybe not scrolling, but just the performance and loading is a little bit better on Google Music, but again, it's mostly kind of splitting hairs there. Everything works pretty nicely and with no major issues. Uh, now there are a couple of key things I do like about Cloud Player. For one, you have, while it's not, you don't have 20,000 songs like on Google Music, uh, you do have five gigabytes standard and you have 20 gigabytes if you buy any MP3 am album on Amazon. Uh, now I really like buying my music on Amazon. That's the only place I really buy it from. So I was able to do that pretty quickly. And as you guys can see here, I have about 19 gigabytes left. So even though 20,000 songs is really good, for the vast majority of people, I would expect that you could get in with that at 20 gigs. But of course, you know, it's entirely up to you. 
Now another thing, and this is kind of not extremely uh, uh, related to Cloud Player, but of course it is connected with the Amazon MP3 store. So again, if you guys are like me and you like to buy all your music on Amazon, you have the option to have it immediately just go into your Cloud Player uh, account and it doesn't count against your storage. So you can buy as much as you like and it's not going to hurt. So of course, it really kind of comes down to you know what pr uh, platform are you on, what kind of, where you like to buy your music, all that kind of stuff. Uh, personally, I like Google Music. Well, I still will buy all my music on Amazon. I still do like the general interface. Google Music is just a little bit faster. Of course, they both have support for Android, but Google has a little bit better and uh, more integrated support for Android. And on top of that, it's really nice to just be able to have all my stuff in one place without having to worry about you know running into any you know storage problems or anything like that. And of course, it's a big bonus that comes with a lot of free songs. I mean, hey, who doesn't like free music? So anyway guys, that's about it for my comparison. If you're interested in either of these services, I'll have links into the script in the description. Uh, you can sign up for Cloud Player. All you need is an Amazon account, which I'm sure most of you guys have. But if you're interested in getting Google Music, you can go ahead and sign up for an invite. Uh, like I said, it took me a couple of weeks to get mine, so hopefully you guys should get yours about that time.